This September release was really awesome. We got user defined functions in Power BI. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the user defined functions efficiently. So the user defined functions is still in preview. To enable the user defined functions in Power BI report, make sure you're using the latest version of the Power BI report that is September 2025. And to enable it, go to the settings from here and from here, go to preview features and if you go down, you can see this DAX user defined functions. So you can enable it and restart the Power BI desktop and you will get the user defined functions enabled for your Power BI report. Now I'm going to show you how you can use it efficiently in your Power BI report. As you can see on my screen, I have this uh, sales and profit KPIs where I'm showing this month over month percentage. And it's not just month over month percentages. It's with the formatting as well as some arrow icons as well. So if I show you the measure here you can see it has current month sales previous month sales so this is another measure and we are calculating percentages like this and we have this formatting then we have the arrow icons with the unique tax functions so we are doing all this for sales and then we are getting this arrow icon and the percentage in this format so now to create the same month over month for another measure that is profit we are doing the same thing for the profit as well and we are repeating the tax functions like unicare format divide a data in this measure for every measures that we have in our report so what we can do is we can simplify this we can create a function for this and instead of profit we can give a measure reference and we can easily create the month over month percentages for sales profit and any other measures so let me show you how to do it so to write the user defined functions We'll have to go to the DAX query view or TMDL view. So let's go to the DAX query view. So now to create the function, let's say define function, then we'll give the function name. So let's give MOM percentage or M-O-N-P-E-R-C percentage. So this is the function name and then we'll give equal to and here we'll pass the parameter that we are going to pass. So this is parameter name that is measure and this will be the type of the parameter. These are the types of parameters. From here, I'm going to give expression and let's close it. So there'll be only one parameter. We can pass multiple parameters here. So we don't need that. Let's click on equal to and this symbol. Now we can write our expression. So let's copy the expression from here and go to DAX query view. And here we can paste it. So instead of sales, we can write measure. And instead of this last month sales, we can write the last month sales measure. So we can say the calculate measure date add date column from here and minus one month. So this will give us the previous month. So here it should be PM instead of PY. Same here. So I hope you understand. This is the expression for the function. So to add this function in our model, you can see in the right hand side, we have functions as zero. We don't have any function right now. So here it's showing update model, add new function. I click here, it will be added. So let's click here and it says update model. And if you see here, we have added MOM percentage function. Now let me show you here. Let's create a function, new measure. And here I will say MOM sales. So we don't have to write all those functions again and again, just say MOM percentage. So this function is created now. We just need to pass the expression. So here we are calculating for sales. So just pass the sales measure and close the bracket, enter. Our function is ready. Let me show you in a card visual. So if I show you here, this is the one I have created. So let's add it here. So you can see it's showing down arrow and 6.2 percentage like this. If I want to create for profit, I can just copy this and create another measure for MOM profit. Click on enter. So this is for profit and if I remove this and add this MM profit, you will see upward arrow icon 21.4 percentage which is similar. So this is how we can use user defined functions. If you want to create a similar function for conditional formatting as well, we can go to the query view. So we can copy this and the new query and paste it. And here we'll just uh, remove this and we'll say if person is greater than zero, we'll say green and if it is Less than zero, it will be red. And here, let's say condition formatting. 
So if I update it, our new function will be added mmcf. Now, if I go here and if I add another measure for mom for salesf, so let's use the function mmcf and for sales. So if I drag this measure here, see it's showing red and you can see here it's red because it's down. So this is how we can use the user defined functions in our Power BI report. I hope you like this video and you have learned something new from this video. So if you like my videos, do not subscribe my channel. Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching.